Oh, so good. <laughs> Instantly regret wearing shorts. I bet it'll be cold tonight as well. Right, so the plan tonight is a summit camp on Binion and Fiddler, which is kind of part of the uh, Arakar Alps. And I'm with another YouTuber, I'll give you a clue. He's German, wears a hat of the stripy kind, and I probably made it way too easy. But yes, I am out with stripy hat guy. Yes, yeah, so we've got this steep pull up, a little path in between the crags. Right, we literally just came over the brow of the hill and we just got first sight of the true summit and we just got a fantastic band of crags. Yeah, so the summit is probably just up and beyond there. And we've got this band of crags running right along. As the crow flies, it's only about just over a kilometre. I think it's about 700 metres ascent. Aye, something like this. Yeah. And I think we have like 300 left or so from here. Yeah, about that. About an hour, an hour to go. Oh, I told this <laughs> <laughs> This is the slowest tap ever, but it saves us dropping over to the north side of the mountain for water. Stripey! Bad news! Dead sheep! Right. Put, put hairs on your chest! Are you, are you serious? Yeah! No, I'm not! Right, well that's water collected. I can relax now. And we've got literally 90 metres of ascent up to the summit. I know what's going to happen though. I'm going to find the perfect pitch and Stripey will have his towel down already, guaranteed. Righty oh folks, that's us at the summit. That took two hours 45 minutes. A lot of filming and faffing around as well though. But yeah, good to be here. Nice spy with my little eye. Something beginning with B. Pictures. Plenty. Right, I think I'm going to pitch here. It's flat, it's soft and it's nice and dry so little bit exposed to the westerly wind coming in there though, but we'll be alright in the scarpy. <laughs> That's Stipey running with his towel. <laughs> ah, no, here he comes with the towel. Oh no, typical German. <laughs> Right, the tent is up. Happy days. Stripey is just pitching over there somewhere. I'm going to go over and see the shelter. He's got a rudimentary DCF shelter that he made himself. 314 grams. Way lighter than your average bivvy bag. So uh, we'll have a look in a minute. Do you know what, right? I thought these wee flexi tail pumps were a bit naff, but I wouldn't be without mine now. They're brilliant. So much less hassle. Right, let's go and see what stripe he's got. Ah, here he is. Here he is. 
That's a job. Single skin. Yeah. Ah, uh, so you just got a, a ground sheet down. Yeah, I put the ground sheet in, even when it's half the weight of the tent because of the tick season. Aye. I'm just not sure in Scotland with the ticks. I built the tent for the Alps, so um, so there's no inner or anything else, and we have no ticks in the Alps, so yeah. Cool. We'll do the job tonight, I think. Right, we're just taking a wee short walk across to this little top here. See if we can get a bit of a different vantage point. That was literally five minutes. You can just make out the scarp. I've been months ago up to the peak. Yes. And I'm lazy and I think we should just enjoy the sun. I know, but there's going to be such a good view out to Loch Fine here, uninterrupted. It's getting in our way at the moment, isn't it? How long does the ridge continue? Because I know that we're on top on this one when you say, oh, let us go to the next one. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, is this the last just one? Just that one. That's the last one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Definitely the last one. Aye. Shall we? Aye. Right. May as well. Time Aye. to kill. Thank let's you. go. <laughs> you know you want to what? go up there. And then there was one, Stripey's bailed on me. <laughs> I don't blame him, to be honest. It's not even the true summit. The true summit's where we're camped, but I just want to see that view. Not too bad, actually, it's quite good. Not bad at all. Yeah. So this one here is the one that's got the trig point. The true summit is back where we're pitched. But yeah, got a nice view over to Loch Fine. There's another small top that you'd actually get a better view still, but I'm not going any further. But the views back into the Arica Alps is fantastic. Super boss. Right, I'm getting back to the tent now. Let's go. Right. Yes, there's a new jacket that was in my gift bag. The Rab Infinitum, I think it is. Gore-Tex. Okay. It's not waterproof, it's just water repellent, but it's windproof, so should be good for stuff like this. Not full on winter, but Ideal for. Is it a helm proof hood? Can you put a helm underneath? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, get a, hen, a helmet under that, eh? Nice. Nice, alright, yeah. Can't grumble at all. I no. don't like the colour, so. No, it wouldn't be my first choice in <laughs> colour. Uh, the guys that were in large, they got nice, I think it was a, was it a navy blue one they got, and I thought I'd like that. And then somebody got an orange one. Mm. But this is my least favourite colour, but can't. Uh, I think it's better than orange. Orange is too bright in the oh, face. And the I heads. like orange. Because I went for orange and the, the little fleece top there. Beautiful though. It's cracking, isn't it? Just a little bit too hazy. But can't complain. Still some patches of snow in the cobbler there. And then being a lock in as well. It's good though. Nice night for a well camp. And you can see that no one takes a car away. Yeah, but what'd you do if you do see somebody taking the car? I mean, you're just going to dive down there and, hey, get away from the car. I put my wingsuit on. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cracking sunset. Yep. Clocks go forward tonight as well. Excellent. Actually, that's <laughs> going to lose an hour's sleep tonight. Up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> As sunsets go, that was rather nice. It's good to finally get out, to be honest, because a mixture of getting a dog, catching coronavirus and crappy weather, I just haven't been out much at all. So, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's good to finally get a summit camping. I don't envy Stripey in his, uh, his tarp tent, though, to be honest, because it's quite chilly already. And wearing shorts was a complete faux pas. I don't know what I was thinking about there. But anyways, I'm uh, snug now. I'm in my new Rab. Alpine 600 sleeping bag, so I should be nice and toasty tonight. Anyways, I'm going to get some dinner on the go and I shall bring you back later on. Well, that was really cool. I was just about to go to my bed and I had a quick look at my phone and the Aurora alert, the Aurora alert came on, so straight back out, gave Stripey a shout. So both of us are back out there taking photographs. It's a little bit faint, you can just make out with the naked eye. But with the camera, I managed to get a couple of little photos which I'll share with you just now.
Yeah, not too bad, quite chuffed with that actually. It's something that's um, it's managed to avoid me for years. It's the first time I've actually seen it, so I'll take that. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go to bed. I shall bring you guys back in the morning. Cheers. Oh, good morning, campers. I'm literally just up. The clocks went forward and sunrise isn't till another hour now. <laughs> um, right, let's get up, let's get packed and get ready to go. By the time that happens, the sun shall be here. And here it comes. The sun is just popping its head out. Well that was a cracking little night out, I have to say. Long overdue. But anyways, we're heading back down the way we came. So I'm going to wrap this video up. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. And I'll catch you next one. Cheers.